Ukraine or Togo or Rwanda, a Togo or a Tongue, a Titi Moses, Aaron, a Titi, a Lego or a Utinama to a Miami. Is someone who or Sukune, Mara, Balo, Balo, or Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Sexy. My mom is Emmett here. My dad is Zach and Bill. I'm the oldest of my family. I have three young brothers, Moses, EJ, and Aaron. Um, my grandma's name is Nema Mia, and she comes from the villages of Sukune and Bailoa Balawi in Samoa. For those of you who don't know, it's Samoan Language Week, and this year's thing is Pokao Le Anoto Ipale or Le Manu Le Anoto which means to strengthen, to strengthen the post of your house for order crime. So like a fale, which is a house, our individual and collective resilience can be measured by our building posts that keep us grounded through the inevitable ups and downs of everyday life. These posts are languages, cultures and traditions which are reinforced by our families, schools and cultures. Our Baole and Otto and Fale, or the Manuia and Ana Fale, reminds us that coming together to celebrate the Samoan culture will strengthen our Nunga Samoa and bring positive benefits for New Zealanders. These benefits will, only, will not only be felt now, but in the future. Nunga Samoa is the third most spoken language in Aotearoa behind English and Te Reo It is crucial that our Nunga Samoa continues to be used by Samoans in New Zealand and is passed on to the generations to come. Although it's great that many speak Nunga Samoa, we should still actively nurture the language so that our New Zealand born Samoans grow up with an understanding of the unique culture and the traditions that provide the foundation of their lives. For me, I'm half Samoan and half Balani, which is New Zealand European, and although I didn't grow up in fully understanding the language, when around my men and Samoan family, I feel the lupa, which uh, means love. I enjoy the little things like singing and praying in Samoan, eating the traditional food, dancing, and occasionally going to church even though I have no idea what they're saying. So whenever I'm around, my culture it feels like that. Um, but it wasn't always like that. When I was younger, I used to not be as confident with my culture because I moved around a lot, and my, um, most of the towns I went to, there wasn't any Samoans or Polynesians. But the older I got, I started to love my culture more. And that's why um, I really, like, today I'm really honored to be here to speak about my culture. Because Marston is a small town, there's not many Polynesians, but I just hope for the best for my uh, yeah, culture. So, anyway, thank you. And now I would like to invite our Samoan band up to the stage.